Hello everyone. The topics which we are going to cover in this video are why is soil important or we can say the importance of soil, how is soil formed, what is soil made of, what is humus, then we will discuss the types of soil that is sandy soil, clay and loamy soil and their properties and in the end you will get to know a fun fact about soil so keep watching till the end and do subscribe to Learny Day before we begin. So first is the importance of soil. Well, soil is one of the most important natural resources. It provides anchorage to the plants and supplies them water and nutrients. It is home for many organisms. Soil is essential for agriculture, which in turn provides us food, clothing and shelter. Soil is thus an inseparable part of our life. Now let us discuss how is soil formed. Soil is formed by the breaking down of rocks by the action of wind, water and climate. This process is called as weathering. Before we discuss what is soil made of, first I'll tell you what is humus. The rotting dead matter in the soil is called humus. So, it is the organic component of the soil formed by the decomposition of leaves and other plant material by soil microorganisms. So, now coming back to what is soil made of, we know that soil is made by weathering of rocks. So, the mixture of rock particles and humus is called soil and soil also contains living organisms such as bacteria, plant roots, earthworms, etc. And air, water and minerals are also present in the soil. Now, let's talk about the types of soil. The soil is classified on the basis of the proportion of particles of various sizes. If the soil contains greater proportion of big particles, it is called sandy soil. If the proportion of fine particles in the soil is relatively higher, it is called clay soil and if the amount of large and fine particles is almost the same, the soil is then called as loamy soil. Let us discuss the properties or we can say the characteristics of sandy soil. Sand particles are large in size, so they cannot fit close together so there are large spaces between them. These spaces are filled with air. So we can say that sandy soil is well aerated. But the water can drain quickly through the spaces between the particles. Thus, sandy soil tends to be light, well aerated and dry as well. And since sandy soil is dry, so it is not good for the plants. Coming on to the clay soil, the clay particles are smaller and they are packed tightly so it leaves a little space for air. And unlike sandy soil, the water can be held between the particles of clay. So clay soils have less air but they are heavy as they hold more water than the sandy soils. And clay soil is very sticky and it can be used to make pots bricks, toys, statues, etc. Coming on to the loamy soil. The best soil for growing plants is loam. Loamy soil is a mixture of sand, clay and another type of soil particle called silt. Silt occurs as a deposit in riverbeds. Silt particles are smaller than sand particles but they are bigger than clay particles. The loamy soil also has humus in it it has the right water holding capacity for the plants. Coming on to the fun fact about soil. Well, one tablespoon of soil has more organisms in it than there are people on the earth. This is something really interesting, isn't it? Hope you enjoyed learning. Do like the video and subscribe to Learny Day. You can also give suggestions if you want a video on any science topic. Bye-bye.